morning. Hi, how are you today? My name is Miss Liz and I'm the Director of Children's Ministry for Bay Lake United Methodist Church. I will be here today, January 24th, to talk to you about Jonah. Now, um, Jonah is a man who was a prophet and a prophet is a messenger who hears God's plans and his or her job is to tell other people about it. So, um, this is a story about when Jonah chose not to obey God. And this is in the book of Jonah, and it's in the Old Testament. So we're going to go into our Bible, and we're going to look at the part before Jesus was born. That's called the Old Testament. And so um, Jonah was called by God to go to a city called Nineveh and tell people about God and encourage them to follow God's laws and obey God. So the Ninevites were known for not being very kind. In fact, the Bible says that Jonah was to preach against their wickedness and help them follow the laws of God. So um, sometimes we think about the Bible as a book of laws, but that's not really what it is. It's a book of love teaching us how to live life so we can be happy in the long run. And you see, when we break God's laws or we disobey him, we're heading towards a life of destruction. If we lie, cheat, steal, or treat people badly, our hearts can never be happy. That's because we were designed by God to love one another. And God wants that happiness to be shared with everyone. That is why God wants to send Jonah to Nineveh. He wanted the people of Nineveh to stop being mean and instead turn their hearts towards God and obey his rules. Okay, so it was scary for Jonah to go to Nineveh and preach against the wickedness there. Jonah was afraid to trust God's plans for him, and so instead, Jonah decided to hop on a ship and go in the opposite direction of Nineveh. Jonah was choosing to disobey God, but Jonah forgot that you can't hide from God. The Bible tells us that God is everywhere, so there was no hiding for Jonah. When Jonah boarded that ship, God knew exactly where he was going. So God sent a storm. The crew of the ship feared the storm and they began to throw cargo overboard to lighten up the ship to try to get away from the storm faster. However, this wasn't working and the storm kept blowing. The sailors started to figure out, try to figure out who was responsible for the storm. And after remembering that Jonah told the sailors he was um, running away from the one true God of the land and sea, the sailors asked Jonah, what they should do to make the wind die down. So the sailors sort of knew that Jonah was responsible for this storm. So Jonah told them to throw him into the sea. The sailors didn't want to kill an innocent person and th tossing Jonah into the sea during this vicious storm would have meant he would probably die. But as the storm raged on, they asked God for forgiveness and the sailors threw Jonah into the sea. As Jonah entered the water, the storm died down and the waters calmed. The sailors realized that Jonah's God was the one true God and feared his power. They began to follow the Lord. So when Jonah entered the water, he was swallowed by a whale and remained in his belly for three whole days. During that time, Jonah prayed to God and gave thanks. And Jonah realized that he needed to trust and obey God and listen when God calls him to do something. As we grow in our faith, we usually feel called um, to do things for God. When you allow the Holy Spirit to enter your heart, God will call you to do things. And sometimes they will be things you don't really want to do. But as followers of Jesus, we need to trust in God's plans. So even when you want to make a bad choice, remember, Jonah tried to run away from God and make a bad choice, but God pursued him and helped Jonah turn his bad choice into a good choice. Okay, because we're human and we were born with sin on our hearts, sometimes we make bad choices. And so um, what we need to do as humans is, and as Christians is we need to listen to God's voice. And when we hear God's voice, we can decipher what our bad choices are and how to make them good choices. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, our bad choices can be changed and made for good choices. And we can trust God and allow him to take all of our bad choices and help set them right because God loves you and he wants to help you. And so all of our bad choices can in turn become good choices. Okay, so three days after the whale swallowed Jonah, the whale spits him back up on dry land and Jonah goes to Nineveh. 
to preach about God. The people of Nineveh um, fear Jonah's preaching and they turn away from their wicked ways. They repent and even the king demands that everyone turn their lives over to God and obey his laws. Jonah has saved the people of Nineveh from their sins by obeying God and helping them obey God. So um, do you hear any connection in this story to a similar story we know? Well, let me give you some hints. Jonah sacrificed himself in order to save his friends from dying in the storm. And then he goes into a dark place for three days. After three days, he was brought out of the dark place to tell others about the love of God. And through Jonah's teaching, he saved the people of Nineveh from the wrath of God and helps them obey God's rules. It sort of sounds like Jesus. Jonah was helping us learn about how Jesus would save us from our sins. Jonah was preparing the way for an even better messenger, a messenger and a savior who could save the whole world. And Jesus tells us in the Bible from Luke eleven twenty eight, 28, blessed are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Let us remember to hear the word of God and obey his plans so that we can live a life with happy hearts and a life where we can follow the one true God. I pray that you are happy and healthy and safe and that you're having a wonderful week. I pray that you're obeying your parents and God and I pray that you'll join me again next week for online or in-person worship at 11 o'clock. May God bless you and keep you safe. Bye.